Got a couple of easy ones there. A couple of gimmies. Hope there's no one over there. I think there is. I can hear someone. Just heard him again. Oh, someone's making all kinds of noise down there. Need a better gun. Well, not a better gun so much as a better CQC weapon. I don't know why people sometimes come here so late. Because, like, what is going on? See, there's real people over there at the, um, at the drive-in. Stranded at the drive-in. There's real people over there at Gaka. And I don't know why they don't just drop here. M416. The Glacial. Just because I've had it for ages. And eventually I had enough stuff to figure it all out. Uh, I'm going to smoke this door here because, my goodness, it is dodgy. The amount of people that... Yep, see, there is. I tell you, they try and get in front of this doorway. Now, there's someone in Gakka, so we're going to go have a look for them in Gakka. Uh, we're going to enter via this end of town because I don't know if they're real. I think they're real. There he is. I think that is actually a bot. So I'm going to go up here because I'm not certain that he is the only person here or that bot is the only person here. I told you, I absolutely can't emphasize how strongly I believe that people are sweaty grubs and how often I am saved by the belief that they are sweaty grubs. I'm going to park down the mountain. It might not be perfect, but it's the mountain we're on. Mark 14. some dude up there who just literally drove in on a uh, hover bike. I'm going to move away until the grass stops rendering and then I'm going to engage him. We should be able to see the, the drop from over here. There he is. Tagged him once. Tagged him twice. That's him. Now, that's a pretty standard thing to do in TPP. Because people will roll up in TPP and just lie down in the grass. And if you wait there to engage, you're just going to end up being disappointed. So I'm going to smoke this now because I want to check this guy's stuff out. And I might try and take that Mark 14 if I can at all manage it. Someone in the kill feed with an org. I don't think that's our guy. I think he was a sevens guy. So we got another 12 sevens out of that dude. Uh, I am going to try, if I can, to get to the middle here and turn this into a sniper fight. There's probably going to be someone in this compound. But if I go straight past, we'll be all right. I don't know if there's going to be anyone on this hill, but people, for some reason, tend to stay away from this. I don't know why. I think it's a great spot. I'm going to park the car just down the hill here.
And this might sound really crazy why I would go and stand out in the middle of a field, but hear me out on this one. I don't have any 7.62, right? And so every engagement I take that is a sniper engagement is a good engagement for me in terms of ammo. Turn this into a stand up and fight kind of thing. we got a level 3 helmet too. So we've got to watch out for people with orms, like that guy who was all in the black and running around in the buggy. But apart from that, I feel like we can... Oh, hello. He just lay down. Seriously? He just lay down as I went to hit him. You've got to be kidding me. But he's outside the circle. There's his leg. doesn't have a vehicle and he's tried to run. He, I had a great shot lined up on him and he just went straight to ground. Uh, he can still do this. Like there's, we're in a good position, but I don't know if he's got an AWM. Need his ammo. And this is what I'm talking about. I used what? Four or five rounds there? And that's a kill. And then I can get his ammo. So we're basically dictating terms according to what kind of loadout we've got which is the same as you'd be doing if you had an m4 and 300 rounds you'd be like well i'm happy to take spray engagements at range now is anyone else rotating in here this is a problem got any sevens does he ever he's got an m24 as well we need more sevens what have i got that's taking up so much space Is that all the sevens? That's all the sevens. Well, that's somewhat disappointing. Okay. Not to worry. Um, any... Yeah, we'll take that. Better than nothing. And our hill is still in the circle. Just... I'll park him down the hill. So we had a pretty, pretty interesting hot drop, and then we had a whole lot of nothing going on for a while there. But here we are, edge of the circle. It's all before us, but we've got three lovely riot shields. And uh, if we lose it from here, it's going to be because we play badly or someone just plays better than us. It won't be because we didn't have the gear. Which is something that does happen, obviously. It would be a brave human that goes to that drop right about now. Thanks, old brother. Um, we've got a nice circle, to be honest. We don't have to really go anywhere. I can still maintain height and I think the car's just about in yeah might move the car over to this depression is this going to be in as well is there someone here these are things we need to know I thought there was someone in that bush but there's not The reason I want to know if there's anyone on that is because I'm actually going to try and park up and use this ridge line. Uh, and I don't want to have someone blindsiding me from the east. And I'm not going to come in on that until I clear the back end. So we're going to start up here, even though it's just outside the circle. Walk it, make sure there's no one around. And then we're going to rotate in on the blue so that, you know... We get maximum time checking what's going on. This is kind of the boring part of the game where you're just doing all your admin, uh, making sure that your circle's safe, that you've got only one direction to worry about. Like that is kind of our direction where the targets are going to be. And it's very hard for someone to sneak up on us. And there's a lot. Oh, someone's just being banned. Excellent. Good work with your DP-28. Oh, well, that was happening. There's a guy at this thing. He 
There's a headshot. There's a body shot. That's Thanatos. Like I said before, you'd be a brave human to go out there to that. And uh, he was a brave human. So we're looking at... I mean, no one else fired at that guy. Hmm. Now we're rotating in on this circle. See what I mean? And we're keeping an eyeball on the left. If anyone gets popped or pushed into the open, we've still got our vehicle. And we've been pretty lucky with that two circle roll there. What's the range? We're going to check the range out Watch there. Out. So that's 290. So that's going to render. Everyone in that three stack will render if they're in the three stack. And we've been beat by the circle here. This is a rough one. That is a very ugly circle. That's the area under church. So there's a plateau up the top of it and then a ridge line with that funny little base around here. That rock is probably going to be in, I think. 303 meters. Okay, 218 is going to be about here. So that should be, that rock's actually going to be pretty good if anyone else doesn't rotate into it. I'm going to have another one of these. This is the big adrenaline syringes. I've got one more left after this. And I would be surprised if there's not someone on the rooftop of this. Or at least in that three stack. I suppose it's outside the circle and they're trying to get their rotations in. There's only three others left now. All right, we're going to try and rotate to those rocks. I don't love the fact that they're at the base of a hill, but... The problem we have with that is anyone that was on that side of the circle is probably going to be at the top of the hill, right? Like that. That's what we're talking about there. He's up the top, right? So we're just on the edge of the circle. And he can move around pretty much to wherever he likes there. He might not even be in a circle though. Okay, where's the rest of them? Don't worry about him. That's one, there's two others apart from him. I'm gonna try and get this under the radar there. This is gonna be right on the edge. And it's actually a very good spot if there's no one behind us. So, um, looking 30 meters in a minute and five seconds, you got 45 seconds on a smoke. So at about 40 seconds, I'm going to use another smoke. That's going to give us time for this rotation. And then I'm going to smoke up where I want to go to next. Um, okay, here we go. Can't see anyone crawling. Is that a person crawling over there? Uh, let's just get to the next smoke. If we make it, we make it. If we don't, you know, what are you going to do? It's inside the circle. We're going to let another one off right here. Right on top of this car. And we're going to get in and have a look around. There's still three people left. I've got a feeling they must be up the ridge line here. Okay, so someone's over here in the bushes.
that's the guy with the MG3 who was just across the way from us uh, a little bit earlier. I mean, this is what I really hate about Erangel. The snaking is just a joke, eh? So someone there is just throwing some... This is the best part about it. I mean, look at this. You can do everything you possibly can, but you end up with gameplay like this being rewarded. <sighs> and this is really one of the things that I think is so sad about this game. The bullet mechanics, everything are brilliant. The weapon variety, the different tactical outcomes, and then there's just a dude lying down in a ghillie suit, refusing to engage. And what do you get? You get PUBG crawling. Everyone is literally crawling on the grass right now. There he is. One guy in a bush meets another guy in a bush. It's a problem. No denying.